as World War II was engulfing Europe, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson, was uh, rescued from war-torn Europe, and he found sanctuary here in the United States. It was clear to him that as destruction was coming to European Jewry within the context of the war, he realized that it was his responsibility to create a new foundation and to put down new roots so that the age-old traditions and the thousands of years old heritage of the Jewish people would continue even after the terrible destruction of European Jewry. One of the first programs that he established in the United States was a program to teach Jewish education to children who attend public schools, what became known as the Release Time Program. In the mid-1940s, Rabbi Jacob J. Hecht, our father, was appointed to direct and to head this Committee for Furtherance of Jewish Education. Over the years, Rabbi Hecht developed various social service programs, poor and sick fund, food distribution programs, special packages of food for the holidays, special counseling programs, drug prevention and other abuse prevention programs, as well as other areas of services to the community. He initiated and developed various day camps, and eventually the first Lubavitch All Summer Sleepaway Girls Camp, Camp Amuna. And over the last half a century, all of these areas and all of these particular needs of the community have been serviced by the National Committee for Furtherance of Jewish Education. The National Committee sponsors Adara Torah Rabbinical Seminary, which is a school for young men who have not had a Jewish education in their childhood. In my own experience, there wasn't this sense of preserving an identity. I never got the sense that there was an intellectual and emotional connection with Judaism. The program was very successful in connecting me back to Judaism, especially coming from a secular college where I was studying things like philosophy and political theory. The organization has undertaken putting out a food pantry every Friday, anybody, anybody, in the city of New York or in the community of Crown Heights, no matter what race, religion, creed that needs food can come to the food pantry every Friday and receive food. They serve the people with, with their heart. We appreciate it. We say thank you, God. I pray every day God can bless them more for the community. God put love in their heart. Around 50 years ago, Rabbi Hecht was in the hospital visiting a patient. He noticed that a nun was giving out toys to the non-Jewish children, and the Jewish children were just laying there very unhappy and not getting any gifts. And Rabbi Hecht felt so upset that he ran out right away. He ran to a toy store and bought a red fire engine truck to give to this boy. And when he came back, the boy's smile was as big as a smile could be. And then and there, Rabbi Hef decided that he's going to start a campaign for sick children in the hospital, and he named it Toys for Hospitalized Children. Toys for Hospitalized Children is a non-sectarian, humanitarian project. Over the course of these 50 years, we've distributed well over a million toys and games and gifts, 75 to 100 facilities hospitals and old age home. Numerous, numerous people visited, uplifted, encouraged and strengthened, giving them some hope while they're hospitalized or while they're in the old age home. And I hope people should have a great Hanukkah and also for the kids with their gifts. And thank you for the wonderful gifts that you brought us. 
and Chag Zmeyach, I love you. Bringing them a toy, you're not giving them a toy, you're giving them hope, you're giving them, you're letting them know somebody cares about them, somebody loves them, beyond their immediate family, and that's extremely important. It's a child, and a gift to a child is something important. It doesn't matter what they have and what they don't have. When they see a gift, their hearts want the gift also. We're an organization with the heart, and this is what we want to do. We want to touch the heart of each child or each patient. Over the course of the years, Toys for Hospitalized Children has branched out, including senior citizens who are hospitalized or who are in nursing homes. Senior citizens in particular need that special touch, that special attention, showing them that somebody is concerned about them, that they're not forgotten. It brings us all great joy, and we're enjoying the celebration and the songs and it's very nice of them to be so thoughtful and so generous to us. I am the mother of a uh, five-year-old boy who was suffering from leukemia, who received a toy from your organization. You describe that to anyone else and it just seems like, oh, there's someone bringing somebody a toy, you know, taking three minutes out of your life to just bring somebody a toy. But it, to the people that are receiving it, it's, it's indescribable. It'd been one of those days when, you know, just when you're not sure how you're going to keep going, you know, it was just getting to be a little bit overwhelming. And um, just, just I couldn't do anything to console Sam. And, and I remember this uh, this rabbi walked into the room, and I remember my first reaction was like I was a little bit angry. Like I don't need you know I don't need your prayers. Like I've prayed enough, you know, for 300 people. And um, he just walked over to Sam, and he had this um, this Elmo in his hand, and and Sam's eyes they just like they lit up, you know. And he just it was only there a few minutes, you know, just talking to him and playing with him. But it was like just for those few minutes, it was. It was kind of like, I forgot he was sick, and, and he kind of forgot he was sick, and it was just, I, there's really no way to describe it. It was just like, you couldn't pay, you know, you couldn't pay for that, just for those few moments that, that he experienced. You know, that was, that was his favorite toy until he passed. You know, he just, he just always was holding on to it. It was, it was really special. <laughs> I had spoke on the radio years ago. He would say, Baruch Hashem, your child is well, your child is home. There are children in the hospital, forgotten children, children laying there forlorn, unhappy in hospital beds. We come in and we bring a smile and we bring happiness and we bring a holiday into the room. We bring smiles on the children's faces. And for the short time that we're there, that they permit us to be there, the child is very, very happy. It's a project that goes beyond color, race, religion. We're talking and giving to every single person, recognizing we are all our brother's keeper. This is a, a nationally recognized organization dedicated to serving others, dedicated to serving you, dedicated to serving me, dedicated to serving our children. The essence of the National Committee for the Furtherance of Jewish Education is sharing love and sharing life and giving. This is personified in the work of the Toys for Hospitalized Children. It's truly life-changing. And, and if any amount of money is worth just having a child, you know, laugh and smile, I, I can't put a price on that.